Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Doc. Thanks for watching Tesla Talks. We got a new update and it sort of came out of nowhere. Yeah, the new update is 2020.36.10. Now, today is September 14th and we just got it here in Canada. Now, I'm hoping it has a speed limit recognition, but something tells me that's still probably not in it. But it does have something new in it and I'm going to read it to you. It's navigate on autopilot beta dash exit passing lane. And this is how they describe it. While navigate on autopilot is activated, your car can now remain in the passing lane. To adjust your passing lane preference, tap controls, autopilot, customize navigate on autopilot, exit passing lane. So let's try that. I gotta get on a highway first, but as soon as we get on the highway, I'll try it out. Okay, before we get on the highway, I can tell you right now that the camera detection for the speed limit signs in Canada isn't working. I've passed a couple signs that are supposed to be 70 kilometers an hour and it's still saying 40 kilometers. So still got to wait for that. Uh, in the last podcast last week, one of the listeners was saying it's probably due to a, or, prob or possibly due to a licensing thing. So maybe that's what it is. Uh, here in Canada, maybe we don't have the license for it. So still waiting. Okay, now that we're on the highway, this is a little confusing of what it is. Let me show you the actual screen here, the uh, settings. So if you go to autopilot, customize, navigate on autopilot. Now it allows you to do all this while, while the car is in drive, which is pretty incredible. So it says exit passing lane, that's the new thing. Yes, now does that mean exit pass? So we're in a passing lane and it's gonna exit out of the passing lane, like come out of the passing lane whenever av available. And if I clicked it to no, that means it'll stay in the passing lane. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. We're going to have to test it out. So right now I have it set to no. So let's see what happens when this vehicle in front of me moves out of the way and what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to speed up. It's taking its only sweet time to speed up here. Let me give it a little help. There we go. Okay, so now we're doing a respectable speed that the guy behind me is not going to freak out. And now, um, now I'm, this way I'm not really in a passing lane per se. So let me change lanes here. Let me get over into what they would call a passing lane, which is the furthest left lane. Okay. I am in what they call a passing lane and yeah it won't get out but if I switch this down here to yes will it get out of the passing lane now no it still it hasn't done anything really and I can switch that back and forth maybe I have to come out of it and then go back into it Like no, like it's really not doing anything. So it's a little confusing. Uh, if I seem dumb and I don't know what I'm talking about, folks, please leave a comment respectfully down below and explain to me respectfully what this feature actually means. Because Okay, so now it's coming on. So I will let it come out of the passing lane and it's set to exit passing lane. Yes. Okay, so that was normal. That's, it, it's always done that when it sees someone else behind and I'm in the passing lane, it moves over. So let me set this to no. Uh, when this car passes me here, I will put that up actually. Maybe that's a better thing to do. And uh, when this guy finally passes me here, I will change lanes into the beloved passing lane and see what happens. I have a feeling the guy in this uh, Lincoln, whatever it is, a uh, pickup, oh, the F-150 is gonna pass me. Yeah, okay, but there's someone coming up behind me, so let me see what happens now. 
if uh, he comes up right behind me and it tells me to move out of the way or if it doesn't. Because if it doesn't, I have it set to no. Then if it doesn't, that's what it means. It means when you're in a passing lane and you set it to no, it won't exit. So let's see what happens. So, see, the problem is <laughs> the one time when you don't want someone right behind you, or sorry, where you want someone right behind you to test something and they're not right behind you. I guess I could slow down, but I don't want to really tick people off. You know what? This is the 401. This is the GTA traffic. There will be someone coming up behind me right on my butt. It's just a matter of time. It just so happens. Let me, let me slow down to 115. See if I can bring this guy in a little closer. This guy right here. Okay. Oh, everyone's just zooming around me. No one's really coming up on me to trigger that. Oh, and there's a BMW passing me there on my right. But, I mean, I get it. I get it to pass me. I'm trying to be a D-bag here. And I'm usually... I usually never drive like this, folks. This is just for the interest of science. I don't know what happened there. I didn't touch anything. It just came out of Navigate and came went right back into it. All these Mercedes and BMWs passing me, but the one car behind me that I want to come up, want, okay, now he's coming up, it's coming up. Is it going to tell me to get out of the lane? No. By now, it probably would have. So let me take this off, go back to Customize. Yeah, he's changed lanes. And um, I feel like a real idiot being behind in this passing lane. So let me put this to yes and see what happens now. Once again, folks, don't do this. Let me do this for you. Don't do what I do. Watch what I do and learn from there. <laughs> so this guy's passing me. I've had, so I haven't had more cars like this pass me on the right ever before like this is I, I feel embarrassed but oh yeah okay see it's telling me to move over so that must be what it is now that I've switched it back uh, and that pickup truck was pretty close behind me when it switched I've noticed in the last update or so or a couple updates because this one's new that when it wants to change lanes and you're in an autopilot or navigate on autopilot it changes lanes a lot closer to the car that's behind you than it used to. So it's getting a little more brave. Has anyone else noticed that in the last update or two? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, so that's, everything else seems fine. Everything else seems like we've got traffic coming up here. Oh, of course. This is the lovely GTA traffic. It's seven o'clock. It's almost 7.30 in the evening and we're in bumper to bumper traffic. Welcome to Toronto, folks. Welcome to Toronto. So that's the update, folks. Uh, that is 2020.36.10. Everything else looks like bug fixes and everything else looks the same here in Canada. We don't have the speed limit recognition still, but we have this new thing. And what's it called again? Let me get the name of it. It is called Navigate on Autopilot Exit Passing Lane. And as you see, so now... I don't know why you'd want to do that, I guess, if you're, I guess if you're going and the car and you're speeding and you're always going faster than this uh, traffic, I guess the flow of traffic and navigate on autopilot always wants to keep moving you over and then you've got to come back over to the left and it keeps moving over. I guess you could just turn that off and then you could just stay in that lane and keep passing the cars that are in the middle lane. So maybe that's the use for it. Other than that, I'd like to keep it on so I'd be, i be, overtake someone on their left, be courteous and then move over. And cause that's what the passing lane is for passing. It's not for driving. So I'm a little curious why they put that in there. But anyways, that is the update folks. Thanks for watching. If you got any comments below, uh, leave them down below. Let me know if I'm way off base on this or not. And uh, we'll talk to you on the next one. See you later. Bye-bye.